Hi everyone, it's Don from Truck Seminatus with the Forge World Basilisk or Medusa and I've painted this one as an Imperial Fists version. Uh, my idea was the Siege of Terror, so this one's the Medusa. Um, started off with um, a P3 paint, uh, Hearthfire Hearth Orange, um, <clears throat> and it's quite a thick paint and I struggled to get the consistency right um, quite a few times, but um, I got there in the end and this just gives it a nice deep rich colour to work from. As you'll see on the hatches and the, the main panels here on the sides I go with a mid-tone yellow and basically repaint pretty much all of it apart from the, the sort of main panel lines where the panels join and where hatches come out and all I'm really trying to do is give this a, the, the main mid-tone of yellow and I'm going to come in later on with a highlight of yellow and the three colours together um, mix really, really well and give you a very vibrant um, yellow. And I, I would think it would be um, my interpretation of uh, Imperial Fist. You'll see how uh, how bright that actually is. Uh, I always think it's funny that in the grim dark, yeah, people don't camouflage anything; they go in bold as brass. I think that's. Um, I quite like that about it actually. As I have to apologise as well, I've got a really bad um, throat infection so that's why I'm croaking about in the background. Um, so you'll see there that lighter yellow going on and it's all about taking your time and not just you know spraying it like a water gun, just really really fine coats. And now we'll move on to the um, the top there, you can really see that there's an individual panel, it's just the panel's being picked out uh, and just, just keep going. You know, there's no time limit on it. I'm sure you you've got enough time to spend another two or three minutes in total uh, to get this really really nice effect. And when I do that, I'm going to come back now and um, show you what it looks like just at the end. And I obviously doing the barrel of the, the gun, and you can see how bright yellow it is sitting on the right hand side there. But also you can see the the sort of panel lines, and that makes weathering it a whole lot easier. Uh, in order to get uh, consistent stripes. Uh, what I do is I sort of negatively mask things. So I I put on a, a piece of normal uh, small masking tape. Then I put on two wider bits and I pull them apart, and I'm left with a, a perfect um, a perfect size, perfect width. And this is me just putting on a a, a wash, and, and that's it finished. Uh, I've taken some advice. If I was doing it again, I would definitely have. Um, the bigger imperial fist transfers but um f you know for this one just to to, to show uh, it was fairly easy to do um i just stuck one on the top uh, and one on the left hand side i hope you I hope you like it it's 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 i was gonna say it's quick and dirty but it is quick and very dirty um i think yellow would be a nightmare to try and keep clean um but this, this is the 30k, not 40k, so everything was um, was kept nice and clean in those days. And I'm sorry the studio lights make that look a bit glossy. Um, they make everything look glossy, it's just so bright in there. So um, I hope you like it. If, if I can answer any questions, please uh, feel free to, to ask. It's my pleasure to, to answer your questions. And if you'd like to comment, like and subscribe, that would be great. Hopefully this video will take us to 2,500 subs. Great guys, thanks again, cheers, bye bye.